Hello students, we are going to perform an experiment from the chapter cell in standard 9. For what is, what is a cell? Cell is the structural and functional unit of life. What do we mean by this? All living organisms in this world, whether it is unicellular or multicellular is made up of cell. As we see the buildings around us, they are made up of bricks in the same way, the body of every living organism is made up of cell. We are also made up of cells. Strange, isn't it? Can how can we be made up of cell? There are organisms which are made up of just a cell, a single cell. They are called as unicellular organisms, such as amoeba, paramecium, euglena. But how can we see those cells? Cells are very small. They are not visible with the naked eyes. So we need a microscope to see the cells because the cells are very small they are in micrometers, right. So, how can we say that the plants are also made up of cells, right. So, neon to show that cells are present in the plant body also, right. So, what is the objective today? Our objective is to prepare stained temporary mount of onion peel and to record observations and draw their labeled diagrams. So, first of all we will observe the slide under the microscope and then we will draw the diagram in our notebooks also, right. What are the materials required for the experiment? First of all, we need a slide. This is a slide. We need cover slips. These are very small, thin cover slips. We need the specimen onion. There is a needle required. A brush is required, a forcep is required and more importantly we need stain also, right. Why do we need stain? Because if we see the onion, it is white in color, is not it? We cannot see the cells under the microscope until we stain it, right. So, we need to take out the peel of the onion. We cannot put it right under the microscope and observe the cells, okay. The specimen what we put under the microscope, this should be much thin, quite thin, right. So, what do we do? We take a peel of the onion. So, how do we take the peel of the onion? See, this is the onion scale leaf and we can take out the peel from inside, just breaking it. You can break this way or you can break this way also, right. And then you can take a peel, take the peel and put it in the watch glass. See what I have put in the watch glass? There is water and I put the peel in the watch glass. Why? It should not get dry, right? Now we need to stain the material. So this is the stain which is called as saffronin and this stain is required to stain the plant tissues, right? Okay. Let me take the stain and only few drops, few drops of stain is enough. It is enough. Let the peel take up the stain and wait for few seconds. Now look at it, this is the this is the slide, okay? And hold the slide always by the edges. You should not hold inside, you should not put it inside the fingers inside, otherwise the fingerprints will come on the slide. Then I am transferring this onion peel material, the peel, small peel with the help of a brush. The peel is transferred to the slide. The peel has a tendency to roll, okay. So, we have to spread it out with the brush, right. Then take a cover slip. This is a cover slip. They take a cover slip and put the cover slip on the material very gently so that there is no air bubble on the material. Okay. Now, focus it under the microscope. 
first under low power that is 10 x, then you can focus it under the high power that is 45 x. So, as the resolution is increased and you can observe the cells under high power. Right? Now, what do we observe under the microscope? We see this is the picture under the microscope. Right? What are these? These small compartments are called as cell. These are the cells of the onion peel. And if you look at them, these are colored differently also for your convenience. So, the yellow ones, this is the cell wall. Then inner to the cell wall, we find cell membrane. And inside the cell membrane, we find cytoplasm, where there is a big vacuole and a nucleus. Right? The cells do not have intercellular space. Such kind of cells, which are found in the onion peel cells, they are called as parenchyma type of cells. These are living cells, these are matured cells, they have a large vacuole and a prominent nucleus. Let us continue with the second part of the same objective, that is to prepare a temporary mount of human cheek cells and to record observations and draw their labeled diagrams. Let us start with the slide preparation. So, slide, this is slide. What do we need? We need a toothpick, right? Cover slips, same again, thin cover slips. We need a stain. This time, the stain is methylene blue to stain the animal cells, right? There is a dropper required and water also. So, animal cells. How can we get the animal cells? We are also animals, is not it? So, we can easily get the cells from our body. So, which cells should we take? We should take the cells which are always in wear and tear, right? We cannot take the cells from our skin, we cannot peel our skin, right? So, what should we take? We can take the cells from the inner cheek of our mouth, right? So, look at the toothprick, there are two ends, one is blunt, another one is pointed. So, from the blunt end, we should scrape the inner lining of the cheek. Do not scrape it very hard, it will start bleeding, right. So, this is a precaution. Take the scrapings and put it on the slide. And what about this? This has to go into the bin, right. The scrapings are put on the slide, you cannot see this. These are white. So, what should we do? We should not let it dry and should put immediately a drop of stain, just a drop of stain. Excess of stain, this is also excess. So, what should we do? Take a blotting paper, just at the corner of one of the blotting paper, try to soak the extra stain should not come, the material should not come out into the blotting paper. Take care, right. So, it is done. I have taken away all the extra stain. Now, immediately put the cover slip with the help of the needle. Gently place the cover slip over the material, tap from the back of the needle, press it gently, observe under the microscope. Mind it first under low power, okay, then under high power, right. What do you see? We see such cells under the microscope, right. What are these cells? Somewhat irregular shape, okay, placed close to close, is not it? Right. Now, these cells, these are animal cells. So, what do they have? Plasma membrane, the outer boundary, then uh, cytoplasm inside and there is a nucleus inside, right. Now, what about this cell wall? Do we have cell wall in animal cells? No, we do not have cell wall in animal cells. This is a big difference. So, animal cells do not have cell wall, plant cells have a cell wall. 
Can you find any other difference? Yes, there is a difference. Vacuole, vacuole is found in the plant cells, but vacuole is absent in animal cells, right? Do you find any other difference? Yes, there are differences, but we cannot find them under the low power of microscope. Under high power of microscope, we can observe a cell organelle called as chloroplast or plastids cell, uh, and absent in animal cells. They also, the Golgi apparatus which are found in animal cells, they are found as dictyosomes in the plant cells. There is an organelle called centrosome which is found in animal cells, but absent in plant cells, animal cells. That is all for today. Thank you children.